with cell phones carrying warning labels that they cause cancer. It could become a reality, at least in one state. CBS News correspondent Michelle Geelan is here with more on that debate. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Maggie. Good to see you. San Francisco wants to be the first city to have cell phones carry warning labels that they may cause brain cancer. It puts the progressive city at odds with the FCC and a multi-billion dollar business. Hey, check out the new guy. Virtually all of us use them. According to an industry source, 270 million Americans now subscribe to a cell phone service. In 2008, total revenue for wireless service companies was a whopping $148 billion. But now, iPhone user and San Francisco mayor Gavin Newsom is taking on that behemoth. Newsom wants his city to be the first to label cell phone boxes like cigarette packs, posting what's called the radiation absorption rate for phones when they're sold. He says the information exists, but not at the point of sale. Newsom wants radiation levels next to each phone in a font at least as large as the price. It's a growing concern from coast to coast. In Maine, state legislator Andrea Bolin is calling for similar legislation. It will be an uphill battle. The FCC says all cell phones sold in this country are safe. And even the American Cancer Society is on record as saying cell phones are unlikely to cause cancer. And cell phones only came into widespread use in the 1990s, so some scientists say it could be years before long-term studies on cell phone use and cancer are complete. Maggie? Michelle Gielan, thank you so much. We want to bring in our Dr. Jennifer Ashton right now. Good morning. Hi, Maggie. I can hear people at home saying, oh, what else causes cancer? Right. People are skeptical because it's not the first time we've heard this. Right, what and it's think? controversial. There's no consensus yet in the scientific or medical community. Cell phones emit what we call non-ionizing radiation, which is thought to be safe. It's less than the radiation we get from the the sun, but the thinking is that if you have something very close to you a lot of the time, so high frequency, even if it's a low dose, there's a potential that it can cause risk, but there is no consensus about that at this point. So in this case, something like hands-free could really help if you're concerned. There are some things for people who are concerned that they can do using hands-free or speaker phone on your cell phone, keeping it as far away from you as possible. And again, with kids especially, we really want to minimize the use of cell phones with children. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you. We'll see you.